Hand surgery specifically uh, takes all of the parts of orthopedics and sort of multiplies them because it, uh, in hand surgery you work on nerves and arteries and tendons and skin and arthritis and contractures and fractures and sports injuries and so um, hand surgery offers a wide variety. I get to do different things every day and uh, even hour to hour complicated things or fun things to help people with can come in. Variety is the is the essence of hand surgery and so um, I see many different things from carpal tunnel syndrome which is probably the most common to many other nerve injuries. Um, there are finger and wrist fractures there are arthritis problems of the uh, mostly the thumb but also the wrist and the fingers and the elbow. I see tendon problems from lacerations to trigger fingers. I see lumps and bumps around the hand and cysts a lot and so uh, there are uh, again part of what draw me, drew me into it is the fact that there's so many different things to do. Somewhat my background in engineering, um, I understand math and physics well enough to apply them to problems and um, sometimes you don't see that as being a, a math or a science or a physics problem but in some subtle way it can be done sometimes better uh, if you understand the background involved. I tell all of my patients that motion or movement is the key to recovery. So if we wanted to hold a part still, we would put a cast on it. Otherwise, any parts that are sticking out from a cast or any parts that are possible to move after a surgery or after an injury uh, should be moved and stretched and stimulated or touched. In other words, um, preventing hypersensitivity, preventing stiffness is the key, especially in hand surgery more than any other body part uh, because hypersensitivity can lead to pain which leads to uh, guarding that part which leads to more hypersensitivity. So uh, stretching and squeezing and making a tight fist is important whether we do a surgery or not. So uh, moving everything we don't block you from moving is very important.